All right, so we'll begin standing. And we'll just establish our breathing. So have your feet a couple inches apart, arms are down by your sides. If it feels like safe and stable for you to have your eyes closed for a moment, you can. If not, just kind of have a soft gaze and begin to deepen your inhales and lengthen your exhales. On your inhales, feeling yourself standing up a little bit taller, feel your chest expanding, feel as if your torso is lengthening a little bit. And then on your exhale, it's beginning to gently engage the low belly muscles up and in. So we have a nice active exhale with the support of our abdominals. So just a couple more breaths like that, inhaling to stand tall, lifting through the crown of the head, and then exhaling to gently draw the belly in. As you exhale to feel your feet on the ground. So one more breath like that. And then when you're ready, if you have your eyes closed, you can please open them. And we'll begin with our arms down by our sides and we'll start with Tadasana. So let's just take a full breath in here. And then a long breath out. As you inhale, take your arms out to the sides and up and come hang your toes. Pause when you get there and just stretch a moment. And then exhale, belly draws in, lower your arms and lower your heels. Inhaling, sweep the arms, raise the heels. Pause after inhale in the posture and stretch a moment and reach. And then exhale, belly draws in as you lower your arms and lower your heels. Good. One more time dynamically. Inhale, take the arms up as you raise your heels. Same as when we were just breathing. Feel as if you're getting longer here. Lifting, pause and stretch. And then exhale, lower down your arms, lower down your heels. And then we'll do one more and we'll stay for three breaths in the posture. So as you inhale, take your arms out to the sides and up, raise your heels, making sure you're linking up all your movement within the pace of your breath. Hands clasp overhead, press up with your palms. Stay here to exhale, belly draws in, soften your elbows. And then as you inhale, press and reach even longer, pause after inhale and just keep stretching just for a moment before you exhale again. So exhale, belly draws in, soften your elbows. Inhale and stretch even further this time. Pause after inhale, keep stretching, keep lifting. One more time, stay to exhale, soften the elbows, draw the belly muscles in. As you inhale, press and reach. Pause after inhale and stretch, stretch, stretch. And then exhale, release your fingertips and slowly lower down. Take a moment to pause, feel any energy, any circulation in your shoulders, your hands, your feet. All right, and then we'll go right into our warriors. So let's take our left foot forward and our right foot back. So you wanna start with your feet and hips width apart and then keep that same distance as you step your feet long. So the right toes are turned out just a little bit. The left toes are facing straight forward. Take an inhale here and stand tall. And then as you exhale, press your right heel down towards the ground as you draw your belly in. We'll do that same pattern, three repetitions, and then stay for three breaths. So as you inhale, lunge forward, lifting your chest, sweeping the arms. And then exhale, relax, belly draws in, straighten your leg, lower your arms. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms as you lunge forward. Shoulders are a little bit ahead of the hips. Exhale, belly draws in as you relax on out. One more time dynamically. Inhale, sweep your arms as you lunge. And then exhale, relax your arms and straighten your leg. And then we'll inhale and come in and stay. So inhale, lunge forward, your Vajrasana. And then stay to exhale. We're gonna sweep the hands behind the back now and clasp the hands behind you. 
So as you inhale here, lift your chest, feel a little squeeze in your shoulders. Pause after your inhale, keep stretching. And then exhale, belly draws in, take a little bit more bend in your knee. As you inhale, feel your chest expand, feel the front of the chest press forward, squeezing your hands back. Pause after inhale and stretch a moment. And then exhale, belly draws in, we'll take one more breath there. Inhaling, lift your chest, squeeze the shoulders back. Pause after inhale, stretch. Stay to exhale, start releasing your hands. Inhale, take them back up and overhead. Pause and reach. And then exhale, relax on out. Okay, good. Step your feet together. Relax your shoulders. Feel your legs. And then other side. So please, right foot forward and left foot back. Remember to try to keep that hips width distance between your feet. So three repetitions, and then we'll stay three breaths. And on those stay breaths, we're just doing that little pause for tension. So a little hold after inhale while we keep stretching. So let's take a breath in here and stand tall. And then as you exhale, engage the belly muscles in and squeeze your left heel down. And then as you inhale, sweep your arms as you lunge forward into your Vajrasana, lifting the chest, squeezing the left heel down. Exhale, belly draws in, relax your arms and straighten your leg. Good, two more like that. Inhale, sweep the arms as you lunge forward. Good. And then exhale, relax, belly draws in. Inhale, left heel presses down as you reach forward and up through the fingertips. So we have that line of energy from the heel to the hands. Exhale and relax on out. And then last one here, we'll stay for three breaths. So inhale, sweep your arms and lunge forward. And then stay to exhale. Once again, clasp your hands behind your back. Inhale as you press back with your knuckles and lift your chest. Squeezing the shoulders back. Pause after inhale and just feel yourself continuing to lift, continuing to stretch. Stay to exhale. Belly draws in. Maybe you bend a little bit more in that front knee. And then as you inhale, re-energize. Lift your chest again. Squeeze the shoulders back. Pause after inhale. Keep stretching. And then one more time. Stay to exhale. Belly draws in. Stay to inhale, lift your chest and squeeze the shoulders back. Feel as if you're lunging even further. And then exhaling here, start to release your hands. Take an inhale to sweep the arms back, forward and up, reach long. And then as you exhale, relax your arms and straighten your leg. Good. Step your feet together. Feel any energy between your shoulder blades and your upper back or even kind of across the front of the chest. It's almost like we feel right after we come out of that pose, pulling a little bit in after we inhale. So we're gonna transition and come right to Vajrasana. So we're gonna stand on your knees. And let's do six rounds of Vajrasana. Mobilize our shoulders and stretch our backs. So knees are a couple of inches apart. When you're ready on an inhale, sweep your arms out to the sides and up, reaching long overhead. And then as you exhale, draw the belly muscles in. As you bend forward, sweeping your hands behind your back, bringing your chest to your thighs and your forehead down. Inhaling, lift your chest, sweep your arms, come all the way back up to that standing on the knees position. Good. Exhale, belly draws in. As you bend forward, try to get the movement of the torso and the movement of the arms to match up. So let's do that four more times. Inhale. Leading with the chest. Sometimes our arms want to kind of drag a little bit because they have really far to go. So try to use the full length of inhale and the full length of exhale for all of the movements to occur simultaneously. So three more repetitions and feel free to go at your own pace. Inhaling, letting the pace of your breathing guide your movement. And last one or two rounds here. Inhaling, lift your chest, sweep your arms, and exhaling, bending forward. And then finishing up your final rounds. Good. 
And then pause and rest there for a moment. You can relax your arms down by your side so that your hands are kind of by your feet. And just let your back rest, let your back stretch. And then when you're ready, use your hands to help you sit up. We're gonna sit back on our heels. We're gonna stand on our knees for another minute or two. So you're always welcome to pad underneath your knees. So either like grab a folded towel or blanket, or sometimes like I like to just roll, grab the center of the mat and roll it towards me so that there's a little extra there. Okay, so we're gonna do a similar pattern to how we did in your Madrasana. So let's take our left foot forward and we'll be standing on our right knee. And then just on an inhale, lunge forward a moment and make sure that your knee lands right above your ankle so that we're aligned and set up with our joints to stack as we move through this posture. And then go ahead and exhale. So arms are down by your sides. As you inhale, sweep your arms forward and up and lunge forward, lowering the hips and lifting the chest. Think about getting your chest and your shoulders just like an inch in front of your hips. So we have a nice line back then. Exhale, belly draws in as you relax your arms and come on out. Good, inhale, sweep your arms and lunge forward, lift your chest, sink the hips. Beautiful, and then exhale, belly draws in as you relax. One more time dynamically. Inhale, sweep your arms and lunge forward. And then exhale, relax your arms. Come back to the starting position. Then we'll come in and stay three breaths. We'll do it exactly like we did in Warrior. So inhale, sweep the arms forward and up as you lunge forward. Stay the exhale here, draw the belly in. Start to lower your hands behind you. As you inhale, lift your chest and squeeze your shoulders back. We'll do that tiny bit of retention. So just pausing a moment after inhale to keep lifting and stretching. As you exhale, belly draws in. You can sink a little deeper in that knee, in that front knee if it feels okay. Inhale, squeeze your hands back as you lift your chest. Feel a nice squeeze between the shoulders. Stay to exhale, belly draws in. We'll take one more breath here. Inhale, lifting your chest any amount more forward and up. You guys can always back up if you need to if this is getting too much for the hip. Pause after inhale, stretch. Stay to exhale, start to release your hands. And then inhale, take the arms back forward and up. And exhale, relax. Good. And then step your knees together. Pause and rest. Feel that right hip. Feel your energy. And then we'll do the other side. So take your right foot forward. And we're standing on the left knee. And then just bring your hands to your knee for now. On an inhale, lunge forward. And just make sure that your knee stacks right above your ankle. And if not, you can always adjust it when you come out. So come on out. So just setting up so that we're aligned here. All right, off we go. So as you inhale, sweep your arms and lunge or lifting your chest and lowering the hips. Exhale, belly draws in as you come on out. Got two more. Inhale, sweep the arms and lunge forward. Think about pressing the front of your chest forward and up. Exhale, belly draws in as you relax. One more time dynamically. Inhale, sweep the arms and lunge forward. Good, exhale, relax. And then last one, we'll stay a few breaths. So inhale, sweep the arms, lunge forward. Stay here to exhale, belly draws in, feel how that helps your low back feel stable, clasp your hands behind your back. As you inhale, lift your chest, squeeze the hands back behind you, feel that stretch for the left hip. Pause there after inhale, stretch a moment, and then stay to exhale, belly draws in. As you inhale, Keep lifting, energetically lift through the front of your chest. Pause and stretch. Exhale, belly draws in. We'll stay for one more breath here. Inhale, shoulders squeeze back any amount more. Feel any amount deeper stretch on that front left side. Stay to exhale. Start to release your hands. Inhale, arms come back up overhead. And then exhale, relax. Good. Okay, pause and rest here. Step your knees back together. Take a moment. Let the front of your hips settle. And then we'll go ahead and sit back on our heels when it feels okay for you. 
And then we're going to pause in child's pose for a moment before we move on. So on your next exhale, just slide your hands down. Take a little rest. Take one or two breaths there. We're going to continue with another, uh, with a strengthening back bend here in a moment. So just take a little rest. And then when you're ready, on an inhale, please rock forward and come into your belly. Okay. So let's have our hands behind our back with the palms facing the ceiling. And we'll do um, Ardha Shalabhasana first, and then full Shalabhasana. And what I'll invite you to do, we're gonna raise both legs and sweep both arms. So if at any point, this is like too much for your neck and shoulders, you can always bend that elbow and do like that salute arm rather than having your arm all the way straight forward and up. So, when you're ready, on an inhale, let's please raise the left leg and sweep the right arm forward and up. And again, you have options to either straighten out the arm or bend at the elbow. As you exhale, lower down, turning your head to the left side, bringing everything back to the starting position. Inhale, sweep the left arm out and up as you raise the right leg. And then exhale, lower down, turn your head to the left side, or sorry, the right side, excuse me. Inhale, raise your left leg, sweep your right arm. Try to get your thigh and your chest off the ground. Exhale, head to the left as you relax down. Inhale, the left arm and the right leg lift. And then exhale, turn your head right as you relax down. Take a breath here. We're going to do two more. We'll do both arms and both legs, full shalvasana, and we'll stay a breath in each, each time. So on this next inhale, lift your chest, lift both legs up and off the ground and sweep both arms. Stay to exhale, belly draws in. As you inhale, squeeze and lift a little bit higher. So just feel those back muscles get. And then as you exhale, turn your head left as you relax down. Let's take a breath, a free breath, and then we'll do that one more time. So on your next inhale, sweep both arms, raise both legs, lift your chest, feel your chest and your thighs lifting up off the ground. Stay to exhale. As you inhale, squeeze it up a little bit higher as best you can. And then exhale, relax, turn your head to the right. And then we'll take a couple breaths and rest here. So pause and relax. As you inhale, fill your belly, pressing against the ground. Feel how that helps to kind of spread out your low back and relax it a bit. And then when you're ready, let's please roll onto our backs. So come on up and come onto your back. And hug your knees towards your chest. And we'll just begin here, gently stretching out our back with three rounds of up and then we'll move on. So hands to, uh, let's, let's actually yeah, have the hands to the backs of our knees here. Because that's kind of where we're going. Good. Okay, so uh, feet are dangling. Take an inhale here, arms are straight. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows, draw the belly in as you slowly draw the knees towards your chest. And we're just relaxing and gently stretching our back up to get some strength. So you can take these kind of gentle if you like. And then inhale, drop the knees away from your arms length. Exhale, belly draws in, bend your elbows, hug the knees towards you. Feel your low back pressing against the ground and gently stretching. One more time, inhale, knees drop away from you. Exhale, hug the knees in towards you. And inhale, drop the knees away from you. And then we're going to do some work across the of Padasana. So um, hands can stay to the backs of your legs. We'll go back to our, um, our little breath pattern. So we'll do three repetitions and then we'll stay three breaths. So as you inhale, press up with your both heels. Stretch out the backs of the legs. Don't worry if your legs actually go straight. Just feel a stretch there. So just make sure you get a stretch. And then exhale, hug your knees towards your chest. 
Inhale, press up with both heels, stretch the backs of the legs, toes are pointing towards your face, and then exhale, knees to your chest. One more time dynamically, inhale, press with the heels. Notice how that third one just like feels so much nicer than the, than the first one. And then exhale, knees to your chest. Then we'll come in and stay. So as you inhale, press up with both heels, hips press down gently. Again, even if your legs still aren't straight, that's okay, just feel a stretch. Stay to exhale here, soften your knees a little bit. Just relax the posture. As you inhale, energetically press through the heels. And as you press up with your heels, flex your toes towards you so we get right into the back of those calves. Do two more breaths here. Exhale, softening the knees a little bit. This time, as you inhale, press up with your heels, let your hips press down, and let the top of your head press back so we're just going to long through our spine as well. One more time. Exhale, soften the knees. And then as you inhale, up with the heels, down with the hips, reach back with your head. Let's, we're going to stay here to exhale and switch our hands to the insides of our legs just so that we can move into our next posture here. So as we inhale, take your feet wide. And again, your knees can stay a little bit bent here, but just feel that stretch for your legs. And then as you exhale, add a tiny bit of resistance with your hands as you slowly bring your feet back together. So your thighs have to work for it a little bit. Inhale, take the feet wide, press out with your heels. So that we get that big stretch. And then exhale, a little bit of resistance with the hands here as you bring it back. Inhale, and press with your heels. Take the feet wide. Exhale, slowly bring those feet back together. And then we'll come back in and we'll stay for three breaths. So inhale. Use, take your time, use the length of your breathing to take your feet wide. Stay to exhale, maybe soften your knees a little bit, relax your feet a little bit. And then as you inhale, press outward energetically with your heels, and you can even press down with your hands a little bit if that feels okay for your legs and your hips. And then two more breaths like that. So exhale, stay, kind of soften your knees a bit. And then as you inhale, press with your heels and stretch. Good, one more time, exhale, softening the knees a little bit. And then inhale, press with your heels, stretch your legs. As you exhale, let's take the hands to the outsides of the legs this time. We'll slowly bring the feet back together. Inhale, take one more last big stretch, heels to ceiling. And then exhale, knees to your chest. Hug them in. Okay, take a moment here. Bring your feet actually to the ground and just kind of feel your legs. I feel like they're starting to feel like there's some energy there. Okay, so we'll do some bridge pose. So have your arms down by your sides. And what we'll do is sweep our arms up and overhead and turn our heads as we come down out of bridge pose. And we'll do three times on each side. So as you inhale, press down into your feet, raise your hips and raise your arms. Coming up into bridge pose, feel the back of your neck and your upper back stretching. As you exhale, slowly roll down and let's turn our heads to the left side. So let all these movements happen simultaneously. Arms down, head left. As you inhale, roll your head back to center, raise your arms and raise your hips, coming back up into bridge pose. And then as you exhale, slowly roll down, draw the belly in as you lower everything down and turn your head to the right side. Inhale, raise your hips, raise your arms, let your head roll center. Pause there and stretch. Exhale, slowly lower down, turn your head to the left. And see if you can articulate your spine even more in these last couple rounds. So as you inhale, roll your head center, raise your arms, and lift first your hips and sacrum, and then your low back, your mid back, and then your upper back, feeling like each vertebra at a time, uh, raveling up and raveling down. Exhale, belly draws in. Start with that upper back, low back, sacrum, and hips as you roll your head right. 
And then we'll do two more repetitions like that. So inhale, slowly roll up, almost like let the frontal hip bones lead the way as you go. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in and start lowering down. Let the frontal hip bones like almost keep pressing upward as you relax down to your head left. And we'll do one more time, turning our head to the right. So inhale, come on back up, head roll center. And then exhale, roll the head right as you lower it down. And then on an inhale, roll your head back to center. Pause there and rest. And just kind of sense that energy in your upper back, your neck, your shoulders. Keep your feet planted, but scoop them a little bit closer together. We're going to practice Sutta Baddha Konasana. So scoot your feet a little closer together so that your feet and your knees are touching. And then you can either rest your arms out by your sides or you can rest your hands on your belly. You can see your belly is kind of sinking, so sometimes that's a nice option. So on your next inhale, take your knees wide and bring the bottoms of the feet to touch. And then as you exhale, slowly bring your knees back together. We're gonna warm this one up before we come in instead. Inhale, take the knees wide, bring the bottoms of the feet to touch. Good. And then exhale, use the pace of your breathing to bring your legs back together. Take it slow, it's okay if it's a little shaky. One more time dynamically, inhale. Take the knees wide, bring the bottoms of the feet to touch. Exhale, take your time, slowly bring the knees back together. And then one more time here, we'll stay. So inhale, you take the knees wide, bring the bottoms of the feet to touch. We're coming towards the end of our practice. So we're gonna stay here a couple of breaths. And if you want to close your eyes, you can. But let your legs relax. Let your arms and your shoulders relax. Let your face relax. And just take a couple of breaths here. Full breaths in, feel your chest expand, feel your belly rise. And then long breaths out gently, drawing the belly muscles in towards your spine. Stay about three more breaths here. And then once you're finished with your next exhale, start to bring your hands to the outsides of your legs as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, just slowly bring your knees back together using your hands. And then pause a moment there. And then gently hug both knees up towards your chest, bringing your hands to the tops of your knees. We'll do six rounds of Apanasana to finish up. So take a full breath in here. And then just take a nice a regular exhale as you bend the elbows and draw the knees towards you. And then as you inhale, drop the knees away from you. And don't go too crazy, but over the next five repetitions, just let your exhales get a little bit longer as you go. So belly draws in, let your exhale slow down a little bit, and as well, let that slow down your movement. So inhale as you drop the knees away from you, and then exhale as you hug the knees up towards you. And do that about three or four more times. And again, don't even worry about counting, just feel your exhales getting a little bit longer, smoother, slower as you go. And then whenever you're finished, and take your time. And whenever you're finished, you can start to bring your feet back to the ground. 
and slowly transition to your final rest, bringing your legs out along the floor, bringing your arms down by your sides, relaxing. You can have your palms facing upward. Relax your face, arms, legs, relax your belly. And we'll rest deeply here. I'll give you about a minute and I'll let you know when it's time to come back. Begin, please, to take a couple of fuller breaths in and longer breaths out. And when you're ready, you can start to either flex the heels forward or wiggle the fingers and toes, bringing little movements back to your limbs. Feel also how a fuller breath in just stretches your torso a little bit, moves your chest and your belly, and maybe even you can feel your spine moving a little bit. So when you're ready, you can begin to bend your knees and plant your feet, and we'll come back, taking our time, we'll come back and sit in a comfortable seated position. And we'll finish up here with a little bit of gratitude. So sitting tall, relax your shoulders. First, just sense how your body feels. Noticing that when we move and breathe together, we circulate life energy. We bring that vibrant feeling back to our body. As you inhale, sit tall and sweep your arms out to the sides and up. And as you exhale, please bring your palms together in front of your heart, bow your head. Let's think of something that we're thankful for today. Bring your thumbs to meet your forehead that we'll do our best to choose good thoughts. To your lips that we will do our best to choose kind words. And to your heart that we'll do our best to make ourselves a blessing to everybody around us in every situation we find ourselves. Thank you guys so, so much for practicing with me. All right.